the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of life. The Holy Spirit is the one who brings us God's gifts, who's always pointing us to Jesus. In Romans, St. Paul calls the Holy Spirit the Zoe Poetan. It means the poet of life. I love that phrase. The life poet. It's like he's as much a verb, a doing, as a doer, this Holy Spirit. He gets things done. The main thing he gets done is he whooshes things, dead things, to life. He whooshes dead relationships and dead communities. Get this, he even whooshes dead people to life. How do you know where the Spirit is doing his whooshing? Well, kind of in the same way that you know where the wind is blowing by the things it's blowing around. You know where the Holy Spirit is, where things are getting done, where dead things are getting whooshed to life. Where dead sinners, for example, are whooshed into one family, into one community of saints, as we say, into the, the Holy Christian Church. It can get kind of annoying, this Holy Spirit, like a, a wind that just won't stop blowing, but he insists on doing his work. He insists on pointing us to Jesus, to uniting us together, insist every week when we gather on feeding us with the word of forgiveness and the meal of everlasting life. And the Holy Spirit, he's gonna keep it up even after you die and are laid to rest in some cemetery. The life poet, he is gonna whoosh you right into eternal life, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. And why? Well, you know the answer to that already from way back on Monday, because this God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit has decided to make you His and to love you and to keep you His forever, no matter what.